For this painting, I first used masking to mask out the whiskers and the light spots in the eyes. And then I wet the entire piece and worked in burnt sienna and ultramarine blue to keep it really soft. So I worked very wet and wet at first on this cat to keep it really soft because this is a very fluffy looking cat and I didn't want any hard edges in that fur. And if I did get hard edges, I went back and scrubbed them out. For the eyes, I used cobalt blue and thalassine blue and worked very wet and wet. And then for the background, of course, I worked very wet and wet as well because I didn't want the background to overwhelm the cat. And since the cat is so soft, the background had to be soft because hard edges tend to draw the eye to them. So I wanted to keep the background really soft as well. And just putting in more dark details and keeping it really soft and loose. If you want any more detail on this painting, I'd be glad to do a sub video from this painting to give more details on a certain aspect of it, but I just couldn't do four hours of video. And it would be like watching grass grow. So if there's any question you have about this painting that you would like a more in detail video about, I would love to do that actually. So just let me know what you're interested in. I did a lot of negative painting in the background and I thought that made for some really interesting effects, some really nice soft effects and I love the details in, the, in these leaves. I just, I think the, the leaves in the background are my favorite part of this painting. They were my favorite part to do. They were kind of a new challenge for me. I've done a zillion cats but not a lot of leaves and they were really fun and I thought they looked really good. I think they are my one of my favorite things about this painting. So usually backgrounds are really hard for me and they take a lot of thought and this background took a lot of thought too but I just was really happy with how it turned out. Okay, so I'm just doing some more details in the face using a little bit more wet and dry now to get those hard edges and those details. A lot of times when I do this and I get a lot of hard edges, I'll go back over the dry painting with a wet brush just to soften it a tad. Then I'm using a oil painting brush to scrub out and soften some of the details around the ears. I found that using a hard oil painting brush for working dry on dry has some nice fur effects too, so that's something I've been using a lot this week actually. So give that a try too. And this painting is to the point where it's just time to do a lot of the little nitty gritty details. I'll put in some fur details, some fur structure some fur texture, I should say, using my sable brush there to keep it soft. Just adding little details, rubbing off the masking, and now I'm going in and you can see I'm thinning down the whiskers, refining the little reflections in the eyes. And the finished painting. Like I said, if you're interested in any detail of this painting and you would like a sub video of a section of it, slow down so you can watch the detail better. I've got some footage of my palette as well so you can watch how I use my palette. So if you're one of my Patreon subscribers and you would like more detail on how I painted this and how I used my palette, just send me a message and, and uh, that'll be the subject of my next video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.